welcome back to Homestead Corner. I'm Jenny and today I have a $50 budget Prepper Pantry stock up haul. Today I went out and hit two stores. We went to the Dollar Tree and to Walmart and to see what we could find for $50 to get some preps back into our stockpile. We wanna make sure that we're keeping everything as full as possible. And some of these items are essential items that you definitely should have in your pantry, but some of them are what I call extras. They will make your life so much easier, especially spices, things like that. You can live without them, but they will make your preps so much better. So if you are just pulling from your pantry, you can really spice things up and change them around. So I'm gonna get started with Dollar Tree, and we did $25 at Dollar Tree and 25 at Walmart. And there is a big difference in the amount of stuff we got. <laughs> Definitely, oh my goodness. But prices, the inflation is still, prices are climbing. I saw more increases today while I was out and I really think it is so important to keep as much in your pantry as you can because it is only going to get more expensive as time rolls on. So the first thing I got was two of the packages of egg noodles. We really like those egg noodles, the Columbia ones. They, uh, Dollar Tree, they're only $1.25 a bag. It's a 12 ounce package and half a bag will feed our family with some other stuff with it. So uh, we like to keep a decent supply of egg noodles in stock in the house. And they are not going to last long term, but they will last a couple of years on the shelf just the way they are. I think they have a um, 2024 uh, Best Buy date. And they'll last a little longer than that too. But with the eggs in them, they're not really gonna go long, long term. And next, I grabbed a pound of kidney beans. I think beans are super important in your pantry and you can't have too many. As long as they're stored airtight, cool, dark, and dry, they're not gonna go bad. They're gonna last and last and last. The older they get, they are harder to cook takes longer so you need more fuel but definitely if you keep them rotated in your pantry using them you are going to be just fine they will last <clears throat> the next thing i got are lentils i got two bags of the lentils uh, we love to have lentils they have a decent protein in them just like your beans do but they only take about 20 minutes to cook so if you throw them in with rice they cook about the same time, which is nice. We like that. We like to have easy cook meals, definitely. And then I was very happy to see <clears throat> the Libby's Tidbit Pineapples are back in the, our Dollar Tree. And these are like $2 a can at Walmart. So I always try to grab, grab them when I see them at Dollar Tree. And there are so many recipes you can do with a pineapple. You can make cakes, you can put it in smoothies, you can do so many different things. You can just eat it as a snack. Um, we like to put it with ham and rice and different things like that, or chicken, anything. If you have pulled pork, Pineapple's great with that as well. Just mix up your seasonings and you can really make a nice, decent meal. It adds that little bit of sweet to the meal. And then I found they only had one of these, but it was the big 22 ounce can of SpaghettiOs. Uh, not something we eat all the time, but for $1.25, the big cans, it really is a good deal. So I thought we would throw it on the shelf. This is one of those things that you can just open it and eat it if you need to. I grew up eating it out of the can, so <laughs> it, to me, it's not that bad. I know some people need to heat it up, but they heat up in just minutes, definitely, which is good. And then I was surprised to see these Organic Valley tomato sauce. I grabbed a couple cans of these just for extra tomato sauce in the pantry. Again, super versatile. You can do so much with it. You can make soup, you can make spaghetti sauce, you can make pizza sauce, 
You could do tons of different stuff just by switching up the spices. And spices are a must. And then I grabbed one can of the um, Mexicali uh, red enchilada sauce. I normally buy Old El Paso. I have never tried this brand, so I only got one can so we can give it a try. But enchilada sauce can be added to tons of different one pot meals to change up the flavor. So I really like changing up that flavor, not eating the same thing all the time. And then I grabbed, because our state has banned the um, plastic shopping bags you get at the grocery store. So instead of getting them at the grocery store from my small trash can in the bathroom, now I have to buy them, which is just lovely. And I'm gonna use these one time and they're gonna get thrown away. So <laughs> they haven't banned that. <laughs> Or the little plastic bag that, you know, you put your veggies in and stuff like that. You can use those one-use bags, but not a shopping bag. So, you know, these states are doing what they do, <laughs> definitely. And let's see, I also grabbed five of the two and a half gallon storage bags. I love these. Um, they are super big and good for so many different uses. We like to keep a good supply of these in the house, definitely. Um, I have quite a few boxes in the pantry, but when I want them, they are way bigger than the gallon bag and they are perfect for lots of stuff. And they fold up nice and small, so if you're going out for a walk, you can easily stick it in your pocket. And if you find something, you got a bag for it. Because I love to forage when I'm out on walks. And then they have these um, cotton bandanas on clearance for 50 cents at the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed two of these and they are the cotton ones, not the nylon. And I like those. These are good, again, for so many uses. They're great to have on hand. You can put your hair up in them. You could wrap up a cot. You can filter water with them like a pre-filter. There are tons of uses, great to have. I love to have bandanas handy, lots of them, definitely. <clears throat> And then let's see, I found some, a 40 pack of paper plates, and these aren't the coated ones. Uh, one of my kids doesn't like the feel of the wax. So, um, so we usually buy the uncoated, and these are perfect. You do not have to wash dishes in an emergency. Uh, we don't use them that often, but I like to have them if the water is down or the power is out. We don't have to deal with washing dishes. You can use these for so many different things to save on your water. And also save your plates after they can start. They're great fire starters. So these light up really nice in the fire. And also I did pick up some of the paper bowls as well. You only get like 10 in here, I think. Yeah, there's only 10 bowls in here, but it would be great in an emergency. Uh, they are wax coated so you can put cereal or whatever in there and they're not going to fall apart the first time you use them or immediately when you use them. And then I grabbed a two ounce container of black pepper. I love having plenty of spices on hand. You, you can't have too much spices. They're going to last for years the way they are. You really don't have to do that much to them. Spices are a great one for the pantry. The more you have, the more options for your meals. And then I picked up a 10 pack of the Scrub Buddies. I really like these. These work great when you cook over a fire. You get like a black soot all over your pan. This takes it right off really easy. And there's only 10 in here, but I cut them in half, so there's 20. That's cheap, but you know, saves us money in the long run because a lot of times I don't use the whole thing at once and I don't want to have to deal with putting them in. You can put them in the freezer and that in a baggie and that will make them last and not rust, but, um, but I like to just cut them. It's easier for me. And, uh, and we get 20 uses instead of 10. And then I grabbed another one of these neon lighters, these long candle lighters. These are great for starting in the fireplace, wood stove, barbecue, lot, the jarred candles, they're great for that. And these are refillable at, right on the top. There is a little hole down here for you to put the butane back in and you can refill these. So they are a decent deal 
for a buck twenty-five. And then I got, let's see, some A1, the five ounce for $1.25 is a super good deal. I love A1 sauce. It's great for steak. You can put it on hamburgers, all kinds of stuff. We really like it. I use it on pot roast. It's good. And then I got three of the like Dollar Tree um, magic erasers. These work wonderful. It takes permanent marker off of lids and other things. We use them for all sorts of stuff, and I really like having those. And you can cut those in half, too, so they don't get all yucky hanging around. And then a package of parchment paper. I like the Dollar Tree's parchment paper. It works really good for us. I haven't had issues with it. I've heard other people have problems that it burns up or whatever, but I've never had a problem, and we use it all the time. So I like to keep that on hand. So that is it for Dollar Tree. That is the $25 there. And then I have one more bag that I picked up at Walmart. And this one, there's definitely not as much stuff in it, but we got a little bit of extras that are great to have on the shelf. So I was able to find for the first time in months um, a four pack of tuna. So I grabbed two of these. Uh, these are still under $3 for four cans of tuna, which is a super good deal to get proteins on the shelf. Tuna casseroles are super easy to make and you can put, you can flake up the tuna and throw it into salads. You can do all kinds of stuff with it, but it's a great protein to have on the shelf and still pretty inexpensive when you can find deals on it. And let's see. Next, I got two bags of the 15 bean soup. We love these. These are one of our favorite meals. Uh, we like to add beer broths to it or just regular broths. Um, they, when you cook it in the crock pot, I don't know what it is, but that sausage just kind of melts in your mouth. It is so good. You can add ham. You can cook this without meat. You can do it a whole bunch of ways. We usually just use the recipe right on the back and it's really good that way we like it let's see and then i grabbed a pack of pepperoni this is good on the shelf for over a year which is wonderful uh this has let's see yeah it's just about a year 2023 for pepperoni this is a great extra type of meat to have on the shelf. I think it's important when you're looking for meats because not everything is available and when it is, it's super expensive. This just gives you a little something different and you can make little pizza rolls. You can make, when I was a kid, we used to make toast with pizza sauce, a couple pieces of pepperoni and cheese on top, right in the toaster. And it's a cheap, inexpensive, something different to eat. So, and then I picked up a bottle, uh, 48 ounces of cooking oil. Uh, oil is really important to have in the house. I don't normally buy the smaller bottles like this. I usually buy it by the gallon, but my smaller bottle that I pour into has, you know, collapsed. So I needed a new one. So <laughs> I did, I, I sprung for a small bottle. It is definitely cheaper if you buy it by the gallon, you will save money. Um, just that big gallon is hard to keep right in the kitchen and you know pouring it and it's clunky and a mess so I like a small bottle and then I can pour my other oil right in there and uh, Italian seasoning just a little something extra to throw in to meals and mix things up a little bit and then I grabbed a couple of packs of seasoning pouches I noticed I was looking for chili seasoning the other day to make chili, and I didn't have many left. So I grabbed four packages of the chili seasoning. These are still under a dollar at Walmart, and they work really well. I have found, and because we have been working on more and more pantry meals, if you just cook up some beans and rice, and you could add meat to it if you want, you can add veggies. A half a pack of this with about a cup or two cups of rice um, and a can of beans 
it's really good seasoning. You really don't need the whole thing for it, but it just gives it that different flavor. And we love spicy food, so I definitely had to grab some of the jerk, the Caribbean jerk um, seasoning mix. I really like that. My husband usually makes it homemade, but you know, if we don't have the stuff, and we've been having a really hard time getting hold of fresh habaneros, and we're not sure how ours are going to do in the garden this year. So just having a little something, uh, just in case to have on hand is important. When you are pulling from just your pantry, it can get very bland. So the more seasonings, the better. I have done a video on a spice bucket. If you don't have a spice bucket, I'll link it up here somewhere, one of these places. And so you can check that out. I think spice buckets are so important to just have a huge variety of spices and it's easy to store and they will last for years in an airtight bucket. And that is it for my budget $50 stock up haul. It's not a giant haul for $50, but it's a good amount. And for today's prices, I think I did pretty good. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.